What? What's this? What are you giving me? What is this? What? <gasps> what the hell? What Ew! It? What is it? I don't have any idea what this is. Is this a phone? Have you seen something like this before? Ah! This is a calculator. Ew, why is it so weird? This is bringing me like back somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know where, mm -hmm. but it's I'm there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> nope. So, this is a 1996 Personal Digital Assistant, or PDA. Ah. Now, the most popular brand of PDAs was the Palm Pilot. Have you ever heard of a Palm Pilot? I have not. I'm gonna have you explore it in just a second, but uh, let's go back in time to the 90s real quick for a little history lesson. <laughs> Oh, I got it. I the commercials in the 90s. Police. Police! Changez mon disco au musée, s'il vous plaît. Okay. But for really smart, check out this calm handheld from Comp. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Gets email. Oh, here's one. The Fed needs me to lecture on our monetary system. Again? <laughs> this is funny. Ever seen that? Ever heard of this? <laughs> Never. Let's learn a little bit about the history of the of Palm. Oh, flashlight. The history of Palm is a remarkable story. The Palm brand has gone through many changes over the years. In 1996, they launched the Palm Pilot, the first ever personal. I got a pen. PDA. This is like phone 101, like 1.0. Intuitive, affordable, and you guessed it, simple. Their relentless focus on function and simplicity created a cultural movement, making Palm a household name. So, first impressions, what do you think about this? So ugly. Everything started from somewhere. This and it's just exciting that I get to see it in front of me. Palm Pilots were the first wildly popular handheld computers and are thought to have kind of ushered in the era of smartphones. Um, I'm actually uh, very happy that I was actually introduced into the generation with iPhones rather than this. Wow, I am really blessed with an iPhone. Do you notice any similarities? Yeah. There's no similarities. Okay, first of all, it looks like a box compared to my phone. Second of all, the apps are like so digital. On the iPhone, it has this like menu bar at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I think they have this menu bar going on right here. That's also touchscreen. What do you notice it doesn't have? There's not even a camera on this thing. <laughs> a camera? How do I renegade through this? Also, do you notice that your phone lights up? This one does not. If you were to cover up the phone and look in there, you will not be able to see inside. Yeah, I can't see anything. What the? Now I'm gonna have you go to the welcome section and follow along with the tutorial. I'm lost. Where's welcome? Okay, welcome, found it. It's the door. You can enter data on your handheld in three ways. Use graffiti writing, use the on-screen keyboard, use your computer keyboard. The graffiti writing area is developed, blah, 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 blah. Don't care to try it. Maybe I should have read that before, huh? <laughs> Since this was kind of thought to be the device that inspired smartphones, right. we're gonna have you complete some tasks on the Palm Pilot that you may be used to doing on your smartphone. Oh God. All right, are you ready? Okay. First, let's have you add yourself as a contact. Oh, easy. Obviously, I'm gonna go to the phone because contacts, hello. Okay, let's start with going back home. Okay, so I would assume it's an address. Oh my god, Jacob! And Miles! Girl. Okay. Address? Address. Okay. This is not what I meant. Okay. First name? Huh? Obviously, I'm gonna go to the phone. What is this? No. It's asking for my address. Okay, let's go down. How? N. What? So How do I go back? Hot sink, sink, contacts, sink, contacts. Maybe, hot sink, we're getting somewhere. That is not it, no, that is not where I wanna be, okay. <laughs> How I delete? Okay, I skipped a step. I'm completely lost and I'm a little bit panicked. First name, J-A-Y-K-A. -A. You didn't wanna do graffiti? Nah, heck no. What? We're not going that, how do I go back, back? Okay. Did you hit done? Oh. Oh, <gasps> there I am. We're gonna go L. That's a four, how did we get to numbers? I don't know, I, I, the, 
Okay, we're gonna go back. That did it! That was like perfect! That was oh. Alright, now add shooting this episode of React to your calendar. We're gonna go to my calendar. Yes, date book, but date book plus. What does that even mean? So home. Mm -hmm. Um, date book. Dude. All right, okay, where so do you think, what do you think calendar would be? Date book plus. What is frustrating about it? It's so slow. Wait, what's date book plus? First try. We don't mess up. R. E. <laughs> One back of it. R. Just, you can just put react. What time is it? It is 3.54. All right, let's see around 3 o'clock. Just hit react. This is too much for me, guys. I'm so confused. Monday. Let's do five. Well, what time is it right now? 5.58. Okay, so we'll do six. Mm -hmm. A. Okay, that, that's not. Okay, A. No. Yeah. So let's do R. A. 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 Okay, we're going to do an uppercase A. This is really difficult. The stylist is not helping me out. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. E. A. C. We're going to skip the A. We're going to go T. Oh, how, how was T done? What's the other thing you notice every time you click something? Ah, I know. Here you go. You're natural. All right. Well done. Now, your final task. Send me an email. Okay. Yeah, well, of course. What's your email? No. There's no way that this is actually going to be able to send an email. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, new. How do I... Wait. Let's well, say I have something really urgent to tell you, like, uh, like my, my dog's pregnant or something. Okay, mail. Uh, um, so we're gonna do new. New. Now are you wondering how to send this? Send. Send to. Nope, sim. Where'd you get sim? Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love you. <laughs> send. Ah! Oh. Oh. Did it send? Did you send it? I don't know. It isn't, it, it like, it didn't ring or something. It didn't send a little like notification that I sent something. So how am I supposed to know? Who did it go to? I said I love you to somebody and it's not you. What's required for an email to go through? Wi-Fi. This does not connect to Wi-Fi. What does it connect to? Well, Wi-Fi did not exist. So this has no capability to connect to Wi-Fi. Then why is this an option? You need a modem to connect to the internet or you would have to plug it into your PC and connect your PC to your modem. What's a modem? So a modem is a separate thing that attaches to it that allows you to connect to Wi-Fi. I give up. Um, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. You are a terrible thing. I'm so happy that you are in your prehistoric time because I don't have to see you ever again. You tell it. Oh my gosh. All right, well, go ahead and turn it off. Ah. <laughs> I was like, I need a moment, Sierra. <laughs> Please hold. All right, so what do you think life was like back before? Rough. Like, before people had, this was all they had to Rough. navigate everyday life. I mean, people that grew up with this, I mean, you were just literally suffering. Well, have you ever thought about life before your iPhone? No, because <laughs> I probably could not live without it. So this was the first of its kind, but do you think that other things drew inspiration no. from it? Yes. Did yes, you know definitely. that? No, I had no idea. I thought that the DS kind of was the first of its own, but it most definitely got, you know, inspiration or direct, um, keys from, you know, old devices like this. This is crazy. Can you imagine a world without text messages? <laughs> no. FaceTime calls are my life. Without FaceTime mm -hmm. calls, that's sad. Not Thanks for watching this episode. What technology should we react to next? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>